Hello everyone, Dickvick here, and welcome back to some more Outer Worlds. I was doing some off-camera exploring, wandering around, and I was just doing a murder everyone in town run, because I got irritated with that full of herself lady, so I punched her in the head. The whole town attacked me, so I kind of went a little bit just pure evil on these motherfuckers. And I kind of killed every single one of them. Um, and I found her. Welcome to She's Zoe under new management. Now under new management. I'm Eleni Gupta. How can I help you? Um, they killed Sliss. Why are you so I calm? I don't know who you're talking about. Um, her name is on the damn sign. Oh, this is going to be one of those conversations. The Jolicor brand has been associated with fine tailoring for generations. Look, could you please just lay off the questions? I don't want to get in trouble. Please? Uh, let me see what you got for sale then. You just don't want to get in trouble. Sneak. Interesting. Um, dodge skill plus five. Nothing particularly cool, but I could just buy all of it. Wasn't me. I'm not a hoarder. I'm kind of curious what they all look like, to be totally honest. So let's do this. Put on my fancy hat because, well, no, yeah, yeah, we can put on the fancy hat. Outfit number one, pretty boring. Um, outfit number two, fancier but still kind of boring. Um, that outfit I already did. Where is it? Is it just cycling? Yes. Okay. Um, not a big fan of that one. Hmm, a little better, but still not particularly great. I already checked on that one. Whoa, what is this light to work here? I mean, I guess some people gotta be really, really fancy for work. The green moss smock, light work gear grade two, two of the same ones because I'm awesome like that. Grade one, mind the grade one. Let's check out these hats. Oh, tiny little baseball hat. Seen worse in video games. Um, hey, this is like Ellie's outfit. Streetwear fancy. Um, I kind of like it. Not gonna wear it, but I like the asymmetricalness of it. Um, it does look kind of cool. It's got the holster for the pistol and everything. Could definitely rock that. Just throw this on top. Yeah, there we go. Pure adventuring at its finest. Oh, now that is some fancy shit. But that's like what the main dude is wearing that I'm going to see. The Chancellor or whatever. Or he's wearing something like that. Oh, cool. Let me check out all the outfits. Something random to do because I don't do that that often in video games and why the heck not but We are down to a single quest. I need to get into this guy's residency somehow And I'm not on I said residency like it's a freaking position and a job His residence somehow I need to get into this place Excuse me I just I want to walk in between you guys desperately. Thank you Hmm I mean, I have a key card. There's nothing to see here. We'll Move along. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Here for that's Mr. Money. Clark. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Was minister the minister Clark's expecting delivery? And you're asking too many questions. Farewell. Ha ha. I shall get to the package so I can look as if I am a delivery man. I wonder if that's the thing I could have stolen in the back room, not her package. So I should have done it before and then I would have had the item anyways. But I chose not to. Oop. You guys like that jump parkour onto that little tiny wedge? Open you. Scratch this. Steal package. Ah, so it is a different package because the other package was here. Let's see, I see. Speak with minister. Okay. Oh, and back out. Easy peasy, quick run along. Imagine like postal delivery men would really like that in the city. Just like parkouring over stuff, bouncing off walls and everything. It'd be pretty freaking crazy. Oh, what's the fastest way? I think it's right here. Up here, wrap around. I'm actually starting to know the city. It's pretty stupid. Oh, damn it. Not jump the high enough. I'm not going through you two again. It's fine. We'll bump into the whoa. I went into a restricted area. There's what are you gonna do about to it? Here. Move along. 
Oh, nothing. Nothing you say. I have yeah. delivery. Let's see it. Package right here. I've got the parcel right here. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Why can't you just take it and not let me in? That seems like a super security flaw, but I guess the paperwork and all the getting signatures and pay grades and bureaucraticness and red tape, that it does kind of make sense that you would choose me to do it instead over you. Just a corporate guard, look at me, I stand here staring at a wall. I don't want you all, oh, there's a fucking model spaceship. <sighs> Had to take it. I had to take all the model spaceships for quite literally no reason whatsoever. Um, I mean, I don't need any of this shit and there's like guards all over the place. I'm not super going to concern myself with stealing it all. Unless there's spaceships, pockets. Obacorn ears. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Also, the fact that we're just eating cyst pigs and everything does not surprise me. <laughs> we're not getting the proper amount of nutrients. Dude, you got a freaking heavy ass cannon, bro. Move along. Move along. I called her a bro. I apologize for gender identifying you before I talked to you or knew. Ah. Listen in. 20 actually. I almost said 2019 for you guys right there. Hey, it's this shit in the bathroom. I guess you fucking open the door when I'm trying to steal stuff. What the heck is wrong with you people? Um. Anything down here? No, this guy's got a pretty fancy bar. Is he any good at darts? The answer is no, there's even a dart outside. Don't know that it was him throwing them. We can just assume since he's... I was going to say a politician, but like I'm assuming there's some politicians that are pretty damn good at darts. So, that would have been a wrong type of stereotype. This... Like some weird super heavy contraption or like super heavily armored door of some sorts. That probably goes out to the back into the kill zone. These guards do not seem to care that I am just free roaming around this dude's effing house. That's weird that that box isn't considered stealing, nor is this box. But it's fine. Ooh, this dude is heavily guarded. But he is like the leader of the planet that's like killing everybody. Sit mags. Really should quick save more if I'm gonna be doing this shit back here within guards view and stuff. We fucking saw it. Didn't happen. It wasn't me. You can't prove it just because I have all the shit on me. Then again, if you tried to search me, we'd throw it down. Also, I'm a deliverer guy walking around with a freaking rifle out in heavy armor. So all, all your papers look legit my ass. I do not look like a delivery guy. Oh, snap. There's a giant red flag here. I don't want to say just i mean it could have been a guard but either way someone has an anger issue here or something bad happened for this to be flipped over like this this will pop up in here how did you Gee. get in here i have a delivery for you that's what's going on and i just kind of walk through your guards if you really want to ask your guards are kind of freaking useless talk to you guys they just let me through. That's how I got in here. It's not that hard, buddy. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! Get Mr. Down, Clark, girl. what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot... You may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. Aggressive. I'm not doing any more. Um, cut the crap. I'm here for the doing of What are you talking about? Why would I want to do something like that? Seems like you're getting off on the wrong foot. Um, what are you talking about? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius. That's the only way these morons understand it. Oh, this guy's a dick. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Calm down, I'm just saying call me a moron again and I will end you. Whoa, calm down here, I'm just asking some questions. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. No, I'm that not. Means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? 
But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Um, wait, you think I'm a dissident? I'm here for the dark stuff. I drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. What is this system coming to when even the Earth Minister is disillusioned beyond hope? Will that be all then? Um, they're not drugs, they're chemicals, and if you haven't been ordering them, then who has? I didn't come all this way to play Glam's Clark, your name on the receipts. Why do you keep talking like that is what I want to say. I did quick save down below, so... Stars, they're getting denser by the day. I did number four. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? Um. <laughs> slower and louder. <laughs> Under my good ear. I'm doing number was, three. Was that a joke? Sarcasm, even? Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke with someone intelligent enough for irony. Great. Um, so how? What's going on here? Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. Well, that dialogue option He's is out of context. The system, but he won't be able to get away with it forever. Eventually, Rockwell's house of cards will topple. I dearly hope so. And you might be part of the equation. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Whatever it is that brought you here. Why would they give me Rockwell that speech option? The one behind it. Um, you expect me to do this? Why would he go through all this trouble? Sure, like I'm going to trust a gibbering Lunia lunatic. <laughs> um, why would you? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but. Everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A I still feel like I'm, most I'm missing due. something and out of the loop. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of dissident, Hunter. I feel like he's playing me just to get back into power is what it feels like. Um, you seem a little too excited, so you're saying we're headed for trouble. I'm ready for it. Where did you seem a little excited about this? Espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Shay? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Um, how do I get to the HEC? Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Um, once get to then when you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Mm, what used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has awesome. too much money and too little sense. Um, uh, How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Um... Do I want to know? I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. <laughs> Obviously, the chairman. We all thought he stuck it somewhere else. Cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Um. Thanks for your help, Wait. I guess. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please. Take this and transmit it from his office. 
Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why are you trusting me? Um, you can count on me, no promises. Why are you trusting me? What's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Um, how long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Mm, well, it's something. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Okay. What a pleasure. I haven't had this much company in quite some time. I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. Yeah, I don't think you are, buddy. It's fine. Oh. Um, what exactly do you hear? Let me get this straight. The chairman is keeping you here under house arrest. What are you thinking of this instance? Give him a parcel. What is it? Open it for yourself. The latest issue of Dissident Hunter. I've been waiting for this. Most of what passes for entertainment here is appalling. What exactly do you do here? Why, I do all the work no one else wants to do. I write reports no one ever reads, monitor colony statistics that no one pays attention to. When I'm not being conscripted to perform in the chairman's propaganda, of course. Look on the bright side, Mr. Clark. When folks come looking for those reports one day, imagine how excited they'll be to find your work. Could do a whole heap of good. I only oh. hope someone comes looking before it's too late. It sometimes feels as though I'm writing these reports purely for my own amusement. You might be. Um, take heart. You're doing what you can. How pointless. Why bother? I don't understand. Neither do I, frankly. Halcyon is headed for a collapse, and no one seems inclined to do anything about it. We're here, aren't we? The captain and I are trying to save people. A fine thought, but I'm afraid you underestimate how deep these problems run, and how long they've persisted. Let me get this straight. The chairman here is keeping you under house arrest. Haven't you heard? Chairman Rockwell and I are on a goodwill tour of the colony as we speak. Seriously, what's stopping you from leaving? Does this mean that all the news about you and Rockwell working together is fake? Why would Rockwell do this to you? Too bad you're stuck here. Um, what's stopping you from Aside leaving? Aside from battalions of UDL security forces, most of Halcyon knows my name and face, so I could hardly evade Rockwell for long. True. Besides, remaining close has allowed me to learn just how wrong things have gone around here. Um, does this mean all the news about you and him are Except fake? Except for the bit about my suddenly coming down with stomach flu last year. That truly happened. Um, why would Rockwell do this Probably to Probably because I've no interest in being his puppet. My predecessor was content to serve as Rockwell's lapdog. When hmm. he saw I meant to oppose him, he made sure I'd have little opportunity to. Um, it's too bad you're stuck it's here. It's quite all right. I've got every back issue of Dissident Hunter to keep me company. Binge watch that shit. Um, what's your thing with assisting and doing Hunter anyways? Are you telling me you haven't read one? They're fabulously entertaining. If not. Also, they're a surprisingly useful means of ascertaining what's going on in the broader colony. Hmm. The board's most pressing grievances tend to feature heavily as the problem of the week. Sometimes it's factory strikes, other times it's dissenters. Makes sense. I'm okay, I'll leave you be. Good conversation, good talk. So... <sighs> Part of me wants to go reload and just button mash through all it again and figure out what the hell I missed. Because I definitely chose an option that is an option later and they just kind of like looped it around and... Not the smartest way to blink your chat around because I definitely, definitely feel like we missed something there. But either way... We're out of time for this episode. My weight is still good to continue on. 
I mean, we've got this super fortified checkpoint to try and get through. And the last time I was here, I ended up having to kill everyone and reload. So I really do appreciate you all stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to check out any of these things that will be popping up here shortly. Got playlists and recommended videos by YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig fig out. Hmm. Hmm.